Hi, my name is Tom Sheave. Uh, I'm the general manager of Sovereign Kava here in Asheville. And it is, um, was it March 20? Sunday, 2 a.m., very early morning Sunday. So I'm tired, we've exhausted, we've been cleaning and, uh, and figuring out service. Uh, I'm at the point where um, I don't feel good about asking bartenders to serve, so I'm bartending now. And as far as that goes, we're separating the cash uh, handling and the service. Two different people. Um, I'm alarmed because when I'm going to gas stations and like grocery stores, lots of cashiers aren't even wearing gloves, uh, let alone having sanitizer on the counter. So uh, I don't know if I'm doing this perfect, but I want to put out what we're doing and what I think everyone should be doing at the minimum. And if you have any good ideas for me, I'm all ears. Uh, so I've got gloves, I've got a mask, clean covered. Workers shouldn't wear like the jeans from the day before, fresh clothes uh, when they come in, all right? Um, so I'm just gonna change my gloves. I've just been doing a little bit of inventory, pulling out some plastic bins, and uh, I put these gloves on, washed my hands. Before I did that, sprayed them with sanitizer before I touched them. And then uh, afterward, after opening a lid and eyeballing it, spray it again on the exterior, put it back, spray the handles, anything that might've gotten touched. When I pass by handles, regardless, I spray them and I'm using sanitizer, uh, what we call sanitizer water, well, it is called sanitizer. And this specifically kills coronavirus. And uh, so we have bottles of that everywhere, along with bleach water. And to use it, you want to spray a surface and leave it for a minimum of 60 seconds. Really, you don't even have to wipe it up if you're anywhere near sunshine or whatever, or you're doing something outside with it, it'll, it'll be fine. Just douse surfaces with it. Uh, so earlier we did some refilling up the, the, the bottles, and putting them all over the place, gloves, boxes of gloves available for everyone, customers, uh, any workers I have here, which I've we've gone down to a skeleton crew, and only no one is required to be here, and we're gonna pay everyone uh, full time uh, for the next couple of weeks, moving to pay time off, moving to the Federal uh, Emergency Family Leave Act, or unemployment, whichever one, is better for the employees and for the longest amount of time. I'm not sure yet, so if anyone has any answers to that, let me know. Um, the, uh, so, I'm gonna change my gloves. Take my gloves off. All right, here I come to the sink, but hang on. What I wanna do, this is what I wanna see all cashiers, anyone working in a restaurant, bare minimum what you should be doing. Grab a clean towel there. Turn that on. I already, I just sanitized sprayed this. This, and all, I, I sanitized sprayed the sanitizer sprays because we're picking them up with our hands. Some gloves, put this here. Now wash up. Use the towel, turn this off, throw that away. More paper towels, different paper towels, always different paper towels. And I know how neurotic this all sounds, we need to all be very neurotic right now. The, uh, throw that away, uh, get my gloves on. Yeah. Takes, I know, 
I know, but we have to be wearing them. All right. Good God. All right. All right, sorry, I didn't mean to make such a long video, but that's what's up, all right? So I did one task, uh, and I have changed my gloves for the next task, all right? So uh, let's see here, this one is bleach water, sanitizer, and bleach. This one I know it's been cleaned. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna hit this bottle of so, just to make sure, even though I've already hit it, I'm gonna hit these that we're picking up to spray things with, all this, yeah? No harm in that. We're at this in the end of the night, we're closing, right? But it's just, just do it. All right? All right. Might as well hit the handles while I'm at it. Someone's probably touching before me, yeah? These handles. And yeah, I know I didn't wash my hands in the official hand washing scene, but whatever. All right. All right. Okay. Hit that. Uh, hit that one. And hit that one. There we go. Uh, that's how you change your gloves. So uh, now, if I was doing transactions uh, with, with the public, I would absolutely have my gloves on and. I didn't, I didn't really stage this or clean up uh, for this video, but uh, go over here. I've got my hand sanitizer, use my elbow. Uh, and much to the amusement of everybody, uh, put sanitizer on your hands in between transactions or any time, and then also be changing your gloves all the time and washing your hands. That's the only way anyone should be interacting with the public for everyone's safety. That is a bare minimum. Uh, I'm frankly at the point of thinking, since I'm going to so many gas stations and so many uh, grocery stores, I haven't been to any restaurants picking up to-go orders, uh, but I'm really at the point of thinking it's time to wrap it up. I don't think we can do this uh, safely enough. Uh, I don't trust uh, everyone to be doing a minimum like this, uh, to be frank. Uh, so I know I am, and so I'm gonna be, any servings we have liquid, I'm gonna have a super clean process and put them in uh, to go cup so there's no preparation during a transaction. Uh, I'm probably gonna stay open uh, officially as a to-go place will transition into other uh, other other forms uh, but until we're on the other side uh, and uh, do it myself serve for a couple days generate some uh, revenue for this place so we can keep people paid and uh, and then transition into some other form but uh, that, that's what I think I just want to share my thoughts so if you are working at a gas station or a grocery store or uh, Certainly a restaurant, uh, you need to be extremely neurotic because you're gonna get a lot of people sick. You have a responsibility. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, I think that everyone in, in closing, this is what I'm telling everyone and everyone on my staff is that uh, instead of behaving like a person trying not to get it and making a risk assessment and be like, oh, there's only one confirmed case, et cetera. You need to behave like a person who has it, who's trying not to spread it to other people. Go ahead and assume you have it with no symptoms. And if everyone would do that, we'd all be a lot better off and more of us could just be faking it like neurotic weirdos and not have to actually get sick. So those are my thoughts. I wanted to share them. Uh, thank you, good luck, uh, and we'll see you soon.